Hello, my name is Tony, and this is Blender Lab. Now I'll show you how to use my parallax mapping node in Blender 2.8. Append BX material from Blend file. Add color, roughness, and normal textures. If you don't have normal map, you can use bump map output, depends on height. After applying main textures, you need to add displacement texture. Select PX node and press tab to edit group, then select displacement map and press tab again and open texture image. There is a few adjustable parameters in PX node. Strength is for adjusting PX depth effect. High values can cause visual issues, but sometimes it can be useful. You can lower interpolation steps if you need. Sometimes it helps to fix some visual issues. Bump strength is for built-in bump normal map. If you need to adjust your displacement texture, you should do it in displacement map node. If you need to create another PX material, you should append it from blend file again to make an independent copies of group nodes. PX mapping has some limitations. Strength of PX effect starts to disappear at low angles between camera and surface. This version of PX mapping node not correctly working with the UV coordinates input, but I am working on improving and fixing it. Now I'll show you how to make parallax ice shader. I downloaded all textures from cc0textures.com. It's absolutely awesome and free. Add ice displacement map and color. We need to adjust displacement map, invert it, and now we see nice parallax effect. This is will be a subsurface ice layer. Don't connect PX node to roughness and normal. It already looks good, but we can improve it by duplicating and mixing surface color without PX mapping. Use roughness or any other texture as mixing factor. For better result, we can transform bottom color layer with mapping node. Don't be shy or don't scare to experiment with everything in Blender. That's the best way to learn a lot. And don't forget to save often.